Hello, welcome to Morgan's with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. We are going to continue to open Keyforge decks and we're going to dive straight into one here and see what's in there. So, yeah, I'm excited to check this one out here. We have, okay, well, we don't have my favorite houses really, but who knows, it could be good anyway. We can't have like Shadows and Sanctum in every deck, right? But we do have Sanctum. And this is Phyllis Spawn Auto Bite, okay? So uh, Untamed, Sanctum, and Mars. So, I mean, you never know. There's good Mars decks, of course, out there. We start off with Untamed, and this is a good card to start off with. The Witch of the Eye, uh, that's a nice one. She can reap and return a card to your, uh, from your discard pile to your hand. I do like that. Niflape here. Um, the only good thing with Niflape really is that the, he ignores Taunt and Elusive. Two of those. Murmuk, your opponent keys cost plus one. I do like that. Oh, Kindred Longshot is pretty good. Elusive and Skirmish. And when you reap, deal two to a creature. That's uh, good having some direct damage that way. Dust Pixie is good, getting two amber. Dew Fairy can reap and gain an extra amber and is elusive. So two of those. If those are alive, that's a lot of amber. And an Ancient Bear, Assault two. Save the pack. Could be good. Destroy each damage creature. Gain a chain. Two of those though. I don't know. That's a bit much. Regrowth. Return a creature from your discord pile to your hand. That, that, that's really nice. Mm. So. Very. <laughs> a lot of creatures. <laughs> nine creatures. Okay. Uh, could be good. Uh, well, when you get nine creatures in Untamed. Instead of having to save the packs. You want to get like a full moon. Or a hunting witch at least. So yeah. We start off with protect the weak in Sanctum. Give, give our uh, give one unit some armor, one armor and a taunt. And Staunch Knight is strong and he's extra strong if he's on the flank. Plus two power. Grey Monk gives everyone an armor, that's good. Champion NFL is good for the taunt, really. And strong fighter as well, six. And City of Brotherhood, we have this one in the last deck as well. It makes it so that we can use our Sanctum creatures on an, another turn, which is nice. And the Hallow Blaster healing three damage from a creature. We have Gormofoom destroying an artifact. That's always nice to have. And the Spirit's Way. Wow, this is really similar to the lost one. And anyway, the Spirit's Way destroy each creature with power three or higher. Uh, once again, Grey Monk. Uh, the Dew Fairies, Kindred Longshot, Murmuk, Niflapes, and Witch of the Eye. Wow, this is anti synergy here. We don't want to destroy each creature with power three or higher, but yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe in some situations. And Take Hostages is good for capturing when you fight, which we. How much are we going to be fighting? Basically, two creatures that will fight. Grey Monk is really not going to fight, so. Wow, just three creatures in Sanctum. That's not good. Shield of Justice. This is just terrible. So when you play this, then for the remainder of the turn, friendly creatures cannot take damage. But we only have three creatures. So Cleansing Wave. Healing one damage from everyone. And you get an Amber for each damaged heal, which could be good. Blinding Light is good. Stunning everyone of a certain house. You choose a house. So in Mars, we start off with the backup. It's pretty good. You can back up some creatures. So it goes into your archive when it dies. And we have the Dominator. Strong Taunter, but he does come in stunned. Then Bolter is good. He, when he fights the Reaps, you can deal two damage to a creature. And if that creature is destroyed, it also gets perched. This is nice to get rid of some nasty creatures. Mind Warper here with Elusive and an action to choose an enemy creature. And it captures one from its own side. I do like that. Two of those as well. Three Mind Warpers. Okay. Oh, Blip Whip is good together with these because when Blip Whip reaps, the next Marsh creature comes in ready. So there's some combos there. And Mother Gun have an action to just reveal Marsh cards and do damage to a creature for each card revealed that way. And this is kind of nice. The Invasion Portal. You get to look, you know, look through your luck. Draw cards until you find either a Marsh creature or you run out of cards. It's a good way to cycle your deck. Squawker, ready a Marsh creature or stun a non-Marsh creature. Yeah, I like that. And sample collection, put a enemy into your archive for each key your opponent has forged. Uh, yeah, could work. We have Ammonia Clouds, three damage to each creature. I mean, we didn't have any archive, right? So we're not going to have any com conflict there with, with the archive. Uh, I 
think. Well, this one goes into the archive, but backup. Ah. Okay. So Creature-wise, a lot of untamed creatures. And as I said, that's not a bad idea, but you do want to have some combos with them then. So 9, 10, 13, 6. Okay, so 18 creatures is not that bad, to be honest. Uh, it's okay. There's some amber. Uh, so three, four, five. That's going to give us like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A bit low on amber generation for a Call of the Orphans deck, I think. Especially with Untamed. I mean, we have a strong board presence with Untamed, but there's some amber like making a key cost plus one. That's not bad. <sighs> Two Niflapes. I don't know about that. Uh, the Witch of the Eye is good, and then some taunts, some armor, and the Mars, three Mind Warpers. I think the Mars is kind of okay. I would like to have a John Smith, though. Some direct damage there. Some artifacts, also board clearing stuff, destroying an artifact, healing, two board wipes. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan of this deck. I think this is one of the weaker ones we have opened lately. Uh, I think so at least. I'm not a big fan. But I'm going to try it out of course and see how it goes. And thank you for watching this Key Forge deck review. If you liked it, please press the like button. And, you know, have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. Follow board games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas.